So what you have to say about the for the, the dark. I mean, uh, I mean, the trailer looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it looks kind of goosebump ish. Like, yeah, it seems a little like. Toned but down. I thought, I thought, I think that was kind of always. Though. What? Yeah, yeah, it me. is. It is. Are you afraid of the dark? Whereas I'm looking for forward to uh, the Del Toro one coming out. Which one is uh, scary stories to tell in the dark? Oh, you haven't seen that one yet. I haven't seen it. It's yeah. pretty good. It's it's for sure a good intro for like young adults like That's trying to good. get into horror which is what those books were initially yeah. anyway so it's not like they were stephen king or... and he did a good job of like making his own kind of story but then also incorporating the short stories into the big main oh for sure one with the main cre- some of the main creatures from the book and uh, bringing them to life was pretty awesome some <laughs> cgi fell f- kind of flat but i eh, didn't really care for it We'll have to it's check fine. it out. I got I got lots of stuff on my list. I got to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and a bunch yeah, of Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet either. Heard I've some heard some good pre- stuff as I've heard on that one. Um, saw some other good stuff. Really, like I said, I've been really like devolved into the comics right now because they're doing so good. Yeah. Like, just the, in every general area. I've been really excited more for uh, Absolute Carnage stuff I've been reading a lot I, of that. I, like, I like the Ar- Absolute Carnage event, but it feels like... I don't know why it feels like the stakes aren't very high. Even though he's, like, transforming everyone and, like, it's a worldwide massacre, I would just, like... And he's ripping people's like, spines out. Yeah. <laughs> that part is, like... And that one, that part, too, is just, like, ah, like, that's such... Like, yes, it's, like, gory and scary, but it's, like, I like it when they get, like, super, like, mentally dark with things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, kind of like they did with gore. Or even, like, when Noel's talking, like, yes, it's about death, but it's, like... No, this is the darkness inside you, and the like. I really I enjoy like, those styles. I liked of theirs. Uh, the last issue where he was he saying you know something about uh, that he uh, what did he say something about sex violence and oh I uh, am sex I am but yeah that was a really uh, good line I saved that one to do later on the memes I also saved the the whole part with the banner yeah that was pretty good yeah. I just like the thing he's like. Whoever this nerd is, it's just bam. Like, wait a minute. I felt I, that. That was pretty cool. See, I like that. That was good. See, like, so. that's that stuff. And that's why, like, it, it it's, like, big for me. But the things like that keep it in, like, that moderate tone of, like, which is good. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, Carnage is still a Spider-Man villain. And Spider-Man is a young adult character. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, he's got, like, serious stuff and people die and things happen. But at the end of the day, Spider-Man wins. Like, that's the overall, just, and I mean, all superhero stories are that way, but. Well, lately he hasn't been doing so well. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like always with, Spider-Man, uh, though. With uh, the Craven event. Did you finally finish the Craven event? I did, event? that was a good event. Did you like it? I did. I like told it. you it was good. It I was really, a good event. At first, I didn't like his run of Amazing Spider-Man because it was kind of going nowhere. It was just kind of just, just a bunch of random bunch of stories, stuff. Yeah. Even with the one where he made that cl- clone of him. And then there was like the big Sentinel robot thing. Yeah, yeah the I, was like, I was like, there's too much going on here, bro. I don't know. This, I was is like, this, is, this, is... this doesn't feel like Spider-Man to me. I don't know. And then finally, when he got into the hunted event, I was like, okay, th- this is much, much, much better now. Have you have you read any of the? And then where he has the uh, kindred stuff, I like that cool. kindred kind of stuff involvement and kind of curious to be who he's not going to be, but like you know who eventually right kinda, what's going to come, gonna out come out of it because he's really building since the beginning. We've seen him in issue number one where he only showed himself like once, and then that was it. And right. then he's slowly been kind of like. Popping up, popping yeah, up here and, then and there. The part where he thought he was going to kill Mary Jane, even you're like, no, already. Like, just got I, don't back. Know, I, I was like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Mary Jane. No, really, I like Mary Jane. I'm, I'm a big not fan. A, I like it. I'm going to pick up her. They don't uh, deserve either of each gonna, other. <laughs> they actually gonna, deserve because they're both terrible. I'm going to pick Mary up Jane her, uh, her amazing Mary Jane. Uh, I, know, coming know, out so like, I might check it out. There's some others. I wanted to read, kind of wanted to read Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen just because it's. I haven't read that one yet. I haven't checked it. Uh, have you read the Fantastic Four run they're doing? Yeah, I've been catch. I've been caught up with that. I just finished the last issue where they were. Um, what did they do? Just again, what were they doing? They were doing something. I can't. Oh, what the? Heck? Well, of course they're doing something. But what was it? It was. Um, um, do you remember what the last issue was, or where are you at right now so far? I think I was caught up, but I don't remember the last issue because they're not like it's the one where it's kind of like the cover where it's like they're in astronaut suits and then they oh oh that's oh there we go it's where they I kind of like that where they were rebuilding the the F one 
or whatever. Yeah, that. the original with all the original yeah, parts and, and that, the, that using he, the real welder. Yeah, that, that he he felt and that's not why accomplished yeah. because it Dude, and that's was something why, that failed for them. Yeah, I really like this run of the Fantastic Four because it is focused on what I think makes the Fantastic Four such a great comic in general. And that, like, the family dynamic. Yeah. Like, it very much all the stories. Like, yes, you have the Galactify, this and that. that but, like, cool. you have all these stories of coming of age, of family getting together, marriage. You yeah. Know what I mean, like... I like the, the issue with Hulk and the thing that was oh, a pretty yeah, good that issue. Was, that was, there were where a bunch got, of... Where he got really clobbered up and then right the last second, he's just all messed up. His face is all... I like that, too. <laughs> I was like, wait, so that's not his skin falling off? That's just bruises? I'm so lost. Well, yeah, some people were kind of explaining like what it what it really is, and it's like there is another issue way older that yeah, they show where he's it. like ex- he's exposed himself of the rock, and it's like yeah, this gruesome. Ugly. He's even uglier than without the rocks, basically. Right. I, I've seen it, and I've heard like some stories about it here and there. I just don't it's remember like the tissue, exact. like weird pink pinky tissue. I'm guessing it's just like the same as a bruise, it's just inflamed yeah. tissue, which. For a rock creature, I guess, would make the outer shell fall off. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so. But there were those, and then the the driving story with Franklin and Valeria. yeah, that was that cool. Was, I like that you know where I mean? she she thought he uh, or he thought he wasn't gonna do good, and it ended up being the other way around. Yeah, she was she was one, too she, um, too much doing yeah, too much shit, too precise about it. It wasn't even that she was like doing a bunch of shit in the car. And, like, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. She's like I was saving the universe. He's like and breaking the law. Yeah, so that's why you don't get a license. And him, he was yeah. He He's did pre- they didn't actually show his. Uh, I don't think his ride did they. Uh, his, I think yeah. they just at the very end they just said, "Oh, hey, you and you pass." <laughs> and he's like, "What?" Well, the ride that was their ride was when they like ended up going out there. So they ended up that was also the test. It was an interesting comic. Yeah, but that yeah, was I, good. I've been liking those. The Savage Avengers hasn't been too bad. I that really one just like, ended, right? It was uh, only I think supposed it's, to be a six issue. Thing. It's only on five. I think it's just about to release six. Yeah, next week. Well, no, I finished the last issue. Oh, it is, yeah. did it come out this week? Mm-hmm. It's oh, okay. the, I gotta catch that one. No, not even this week. I think it was last week. Are you yeah. sure that was it then? I swear that was five. Yeah, at the very end, it says end. That was only five issues, though, I swear. Maybe it's five, maybe six. I can't I'm, remember. I, it was probably five. Who knows? I think they're going to have, I think they're have a, more issues yeah. out of it. They've been putting Conan in a lot. I think it was, yeah, Blade. they're going hardcore with They're going to be putting Blade in a lot of stuff with the new movie coming out, yeah, which they, they have. They got is, the Morf- uh, Morbius co- uh, solo comic coming yeah, out. Yeah, but I'm he's not a, like, oh, I'll read it for sure, but he's not like a main. Well, he's, that's because the movie's coming out. Oh, now, for, for sure. Uh, but... Sony, the Jack. Jim which Hall? is so oh uh, yeah, Jake, which is so silly that they're gonna have him as that, and then he was also Mysterio, and then I liked him as Mysterio though. Was that was a good, good Mysterio. Mysterio. He was a good, especially for the concept they took, which was totally original. You know what I mean? Like for Mysterio's backstory and shit. Oh yeah, that's why I liked it all. Was that they really did a good job of modernizing him into the I mean because I mean I don't think I would have liked even say him like, as much as if he was just a special effects guy, and it's like. Mm, Especially okay. since nowadays all special effects are digital. Yeah, and you're just like, mm, I can't, like, I I can't kinda, believe this guy. I like the idea yeah, that the it was with, more of science and I mean, involved. he uses science in the thing, it's too. It's so special. Yeah. But, He's not like, and he also does, like, they have that whole one, If I don't remember if you remember, they had that, like, villains at, uh, issue where it was infamous Iron Man, got all, like, Vulture and Mysterio and a bunch of Spider-Man villains to do, like, his I bidding. probably read that, and I just don't remember. It's It was a super small run, but it was, like, a, one of the few times you get to see, like, Mysterio and Doctor Strange meet, and he's just like, he's beating the shit out of me, and he's not even paying attention. I it think is, I've seen that. Yeah, I don't think I read that one. It was an interesting run. Uh, what else has been good lately that's got released? Uh, have you read Black Hammer Justice League? Oh yeah, I've been reading that one as well. That one's cool. I like it's, it. I like the idea of uh, them being switched around completely, and they yeah. they literally thought that they've been there for ten years. Yeah, and it's only been like a few five days, days or so, which is puts it into perspective for the other story of Black Hammer of like time. Well, I liked how the Black Hammer just ended. Did you read the last issue of it, Age of Doom? Oh, I haven't been on the Age of Doom one yet. I wanted to wait for it to finish. So I oh, could it's read done. The yeah, I just finished okay. uh, last week, and it was pretty good i like, uh, I like you know i just like the cars they they built really good and i think that's the most important thing that a lot of people miss when they see stories and stuff and like not every story has it but i think all great stories have it is like characters make the story if you want to make a great story you have to make great characters like if you don't have a good cast to start with if they're not interesting and relatable or have stakes and values then there's really like no point in people like getting 
paying any attention. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you have a cast of like really interesting characters with their own dynamics and like problems and goals, like the stories just kind of spring forth naturally. You don't really have to write a story. It'll just kind of do itself. I don't know. But like a lot of the times I feel like the, the character building is the most important part, especially in like comics where you, where you don't get to see these, you know, like, it's not like a book or a movie where you're or a TV show where you're going to have all this exposition and this and that most of the time. And sometimes you'll get thought bubbles and this and that. But a lot of times you got 23 pages to tell that story or a couple mm -hmm. issues to tell that story. And you got to be real concise while still building those characters. So, yeah, you uh, should, so you haven't read any of Age of Doom then, huh? Not Just, yet, no. Okay. Yeah. Not, not any of the Age of Doom. I mean, I finished the original run, which was good. Yeah, because that one, well, that one left two on a cliffhanger, though, huh? They always do, though. And then that one goes into Age of Doom. Yeah, explains more. And I assume Age of Doom also ends on a cliffhanger. Um, kind of ends on a happy note, and it kind of ends on, like, there could be possibly more, maybe. The thing the is, they always leave it open-ended. It's He's kind of doing the same thing, like Hellboy kind of thing, where, you know, it's not like one consistent Right, like, it's run. just it's a just, bunch of different stories. Just the different stories of, like, here's the story, guys, of this, in this universe. And he does a lot of it, like, there's Black Hammer 45, which is supposed to be, like, in 1945, and they're supposed to be fighter jets, or, yeah, flyer jets in there. Um, there's another one for Sherlock... Frankenstein or something like oh, that. Yeah, That's I've the seen, one yeah. uh, Gale's um, lover. Um, so he has his own like mini series, and then they came out with this other like one shot. Um, it was like Chulu, but it was like the, like his daughter. I don't know. It was I just see. a one shot. Then there was another. I think there was one more spin off they had. They've uh, gotten a lot uh, done in a little sh amount of time. Or maybe that was it. That might have been it. But yeah, there's uh, yeah quite a few little. There's a lot of those that do that though. You got oh, Quantum Age. Black Hammer Quantum Eight uh, is another one where it's actually set in the future, and there is a talking armadillo who I floats mean those in a little wheelchair. I mean those, and sound... I think it's fucking awesome. <laughs> I mean, that, I think it's fucking awesome. <laughs> those sound really good, and he talks to you telepathically. I mean... <laughs> so you need to read Quantum Age just for the armadillo. The ar <laughs> Sometimes the little characters are best. Like uh, there's a couple. Have you seen? Uh, I'm sure you've seen Moround. What's it? Boy thing. Oh yeah, he's uh yeah the, the Avengers. Band. He just that's like yeah his he's a new character too. Yeah, I just found that. I thought he's been around, but yeah, he no, they he, just they introduced just him in that uh, Avengers run with Blade. Yeah, I yeah, like it with him Blade though. Yeah, that's, that's cool. super cool. I love the little sidekicks are all over. You got him. You got Jaro. I like, um, for I like uh, Gwenpool's. Uh, oh, I haven't seen. Her oh, you, hers is a little land shark. A little baby land shark. <laughs> it's yeah, awesome. God, I love it. Terrible. It's awesome. This is the fucking worst. <laughs> it's oh, so perfect. I didn't know I needed that in my life. I didn't I know needed, I needed that. But I needed a baby well, land shark. But what about the land whale? No. <laughs> There's that. And then you have um, Gabby's... Um, what, what does she call him? Badger. But uh, his name's... Uh, is he a Jonathan. badger? I thought he was a... Uh, or, he's a honey bear. He's a honey badger. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, same thing. Yeah. Wolverine. Wolverine. That's what Wolverines really are. Yeah, just... that's what they are, right? Okay, they're honey badgers. All right. Yeah. But yeah, that's Jonathan. Yeah, you're right. It's Jonathan. Jonathan. Yep. Oh, and then my favorite, Bats uh... from Doctor Strange. The, oh, yeah. The ghost dog. Well, he wasn't bats. a ghost dog at first. No, he was alive. He was just a talking and dog. And then he's a dead talking dog. <laughs> so Go uh, Talking ghost dog. So, did you did you read that issue with uh, uh, the Infinity lead up or whatever? Or no, it was a post Infinity with Wolverine, Loki, about... and Bats. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one where um, that supposedly that the Time Stone like actually is born into a somebody. person. Yeah, it... <sighs> which I don't. They haven't gone anywhere. With was that, it born into a person or was it? It was like like actually somebody already that was alive but i can't remember like, i think they were already alive and, and then it just, just became them the, yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, he was they in jail the yeah, yeah and then he like stops time and but it, which always so funny for cool me movie. on that is they haven't really gone anywhere with it yeah i wonder I, if they just forgot or if it's gonna lead up it's to it'll later. get somewhere they got so much shit that they, they do that really i think that they're got like a lot going on but i think that what they do is that they have these things they got, out for like years in advance they're like eh, just a year they got least a year, year. yeah like they're, they're probably like hey guys and then sometimes maybe it's even organically where they're like Hey, I really like that what you were doing over here. Can we like integrate it with my shit that I did last year? Because that's what Donny Cates did with all his Venom stuff with Thor. 
God yeah. of Thunder. Like that stuff was already written out, and he was able to kind of pick a little bit of that and put it into Venom. Oh yeah. Where and now they, they said that that was mass, null, yeah. and now they are really going into it. That that because if you read uh, King uh, King Thor yet, yeah, and they really go into it, saying they already saying that that is the character Noel already that he fought. When in that book, they literally didn't have a, a name for that character. It was just a like a guy in a black armor suit at that point. Yeah, it didn't, really, it didn't even show his face back then. So I mean, but they do that all the time. Like I mean, they change they cool. change like, the, the nature of like a uh, wraith recently in guardians of the galaxy i like i like his origins now i really like his and see look i really have i have more of my speculations kind of like i really have an idea that they're not done with noel that, that this absolute carnage stuff that they're doing is not going to be the end of it they're they're planning something even they bigger. gotta be because there's that, gonna like be i said i feel like as much as the absolute carnage stuff is doing stuff it doesn't feel like it's got the huge yeah they're like impact yeah it, it feels like a medium level event you know what i mean yeah which is not bad. Like I'm, I'm I like enjoying the time. I like some good symbiote oh, yeah. action. That's all for there. sure. And it, it's like you know having the different things go on and times with now the Hulk and different characters showing up. There, there's all manner of good. But what I'm saying is, it's not like the super giant line cl- crossover that Marvel's known to shit mm-hmm. on all the time. Which they really got to stop doing it all the time. Like once a year, I'm okay with. I can do once a year for a line wide crossover if it's good. Yeah, but, but they they're do doing like two yeah. or three a year, and it's like. Like, even these, like, mini events or m- medium events, I mean, they've had how many this year? Oh, they had um, War of the Realms. Which I would consider a major event because you had a bunch of crossovers. Well, that one, yeah, had... because he's been working for that for 10 years. Yeah. That, that was his accumulation. Oh, yeah, that was Thor Jason Aaron's. Since the beginning. That was Jason Aaron's, Aaron's love song to Thor, basically. Which you get and artists to do. He's still kind of not done because he's no, still he's doing King of Thor. Yeah, yeah he's, he's done still with that. I'm pretty and, sure he's going to finish and it. And there's Donnie. rumors. There is rumors that yeah. Donnie is going to be writing Thor next. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's he's, how he's finishing do it. up Guardians of the Galaxy on issue ten, I think. Which is said. which is not bad because it's, it's a decent run so far. I feel like I liked Guardians. I like of the Galaxy. it, but it's, I like the group who can talk now and who's uh, kind of like an asshole. Been, but he's been around since before this Guardians run. Uh, and he's got that spiky mohawk. The, the mohawk. And he's got the little baby run. Groots now. Yeah, with those him. were from the old run too. So yeah, because they kind of brought them over. But well, I that's like, what I mean. Is like, I, like the, the but new, he's really honing on, like really. He making, really is making him a character, which I kind of enjoy. Because Groot is cool. He's a cool character. And I don't want, but like again, he. I mean, you could do so. You can only do so much with, with the, the character that says I am Groot. Kind of. I don't know. I always thought that that was one of the things that made his character great was all the exposition oh, yeah. no, you could that's pull cool. from out. Like, yeah. oh, what did he say? He's like, he was saying that you have a beautiful. Yeah, soul. no, you that's cool. I mean? Yeah, but even beyond that, but now the, you uh, can do more now with him. You can oh, play yeah, with him sure. a little bit more. My with, thing uh, was is one they had put on the new cast, which was fine. Like, I like the new character or the new. Oh, like Moonstone. Oh yeah, which they're fine. A Moon Dragon. Dragon. There we go. And then the other. Other one was uh started the P Firevel. Something you fi- Firevel. Philavel. Yeah, because it was like Marvel kind of thing. Yeah, it's 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 um, one of those alternate universe things. Yeah, well actually that's Drax's daughter, daughter yeah. who I didn't uh, know that he died daughter, and re- yeah. she reincarnated into this person and she was not Close. in the main universe though. She was in the right. different universe. That's somehow. why I said she's not from this universe. <laughs> You're like ah, too much. Too much. There's so much going. On. Like I've I've really enjoyed the. Uh, I, I like the whole Thanos thing where they were like they were making it like they were kind of like ransacking like who's he gonna go with who's who's well, that gonna was with? good. I'm talking about the actual run after following the than the beginning oh. of Thanos saga. That, it wasn't bad. It's just not as. Oh, you mean before Donny Cates hopped onto it? No, no, no. Just or like just like right after. Begin- that. Oh, right after with oh the last issue. Yeah, because the last one, what did they do? They uh, oh, because that's the one. Now we're finding They're switching out that rocket. Rockets, yes. kinda like where has he been this whole time? Right, which I'm been... I'm interested in. At the same time, I'm like, we just went from a Thanos taking over people's body arc into this, and I'm like. We have absolute carnage going on. Uh, what else is releasing that I'm really hyped for? I was reading. I guess they just don't assume that people would, I guess, read almost everything. I think they just kind of say that people nitpick their things. Well, they, they sure, like and they and they it's can some write people it. like cosmic kind of oh, space sure. things, and that's their their thing only. And they just and maybe that's kind of what they. Oh yeah. Although the cosmic 
landscape at Marvel hasn't really been too big. Well, they're going the the back. Couple they're of getting years. back yeah. into it with Annihilation coming out soon in December. God, what are they going to do this time? Because you can't just do the. Not, well, I guess they did Civil War again, but that didn't work out too well. So, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm hoping going, that if they do something new, they and do I heard something Annihilation's new. a good story. I haven't read it, but I heard it's a really good cosmic uh, story that was Wait, done. Oh, you haven't read Annihilation? I haven't read oh, yeah, Annihilation's now. great. Yeah, so. it's an amazing arc. It's really good development for like Richard Rider and a bunch of other cosmic characters. It's really where the whole cosmic land landscape of current day marvel came from because before that you had like old really old uh eternal stuff and a yeah. couple of the guardians of the yeah. the or the Elders which i'm not a fan for eternal stuff but we'll see maybe they'll do the same thing marvel well they're supposed to be doing to... that movie or the well, series that's or? not yeah. saying the, the movie yeah that's like marvel's been known to prove me wrong with i mean which is so weird the because they had just killed off all the eternals not too recently or not too long ago in that avengers story with the uh dark celestials remember the fourth host did they kill them all? yeah i remember they show up to titan and they're all dead or dying oh yeah i think they, they kind of just kind of said fuck that and didn't address it again i think we'll see maybe their continuity but... is actually pretty messy right now like well, oh they're marvel the... oh I just in general about... okay now just marvel in general's continuity is really messy right now like they're having a bunch of characters in different books at the same time and without explaining it Other which shit. one's like oh sh ton of them Lot, especially during the War of the Realms, the way it crossed over with main ones was okay, but some of the side books really messy. Oh yeah, you would, have, you would have you would have like the stuff. Fantastic Four defending New York, and then also like helping out like save the world from the Avengers mm. uh, Celestial base or whatever. And like there are explanations for it, obviously. You yeah, say it happens at this I time. I think of that, it but they just, just needs to be probably it. maybe if, that probably is maybe a reading order maybe issue. It, maybe. it might be. I, I've been going through in different ways and trying to and like the problem is if they don't piece it out in their reading no order, yeah like absolutely then how are you, you know gonna, that's yeah. the same thing at least tells you okay and you need to read it exactly in this right order, and not. even then you sometimes I remember and it wasn't Marvel's not always the guildiest but DC did it in one of their Batman like Night of the Bat bullcrap ones where you had like a story where like you would have scenes referencing other scenes from comics released at the same time so you would have like the scene that referenced th what happened in detective comics 8 and then also in red hood you had a scene that tied into mm. it and the scene that you know what i mean that all affected the continuity and was on a time clock and it was like there's a there's a, now that you bring up batman there's rumors that uh luke fox who was i guess an issue of nightwing is supposedly going to be the who's he's black but he's going to be the new batman supposedly there's rumors of this going around I don't know. Uh, it, wait, and so the movie or the comics? No, the comics. I mean, he yeah. might. Lucius Fox, you say? No, his name's Luke Fox. Look him up. He's Luke only Fox. been a co he's only shown up a couple times, and he's shown up in Nightwing. I think it was even a New 52, maybe? No, 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 no. It wasn't New. Oh, maybe it was New 52. It must be, because I've never heard of him. But yeah, he's uh, some speculations going around him, too, and there was other rumors around him somewhere uh, in the comic community. I mean, community maybe. Right now, there's... Him. Right now, they're basically setting, I feel like, to send and Batman uh, back on the path. Cause well, they're, uh, what's his name? He's not going to, they already got a new creative team next year, 2020, who's going to be writing. Oh, yeah, I mean, Top Geek's uh, going to be Jane done. Tillian. Jamie Tillian. Oh, he's, he's a pretty good writer. What What else has he done? Uh, Let me see. Because right now, I know that they just did a bunch of big reveals and changes in the Batman landscape in the last couple of Detective Comics and Batman issues. Oh, yeah, t uh, Tinian, that's his name uh who's a pro proje a former batman writer scott snyder and i like scott snyder i liked his uh court of battles stuff it's good i like a lot of scott snyder stuff his dark knight's metal was really good until the end yeah that's what i heard too it it's like it had really good concepts and then a medium finish like a medium execution and there was nothing wrong with it it's a good story and it's a good arc and I enjoy it, but compared to other runs like the Court of Owls or like Jeff John's Green Lantern run, it's no no comparison. Yeah, never seen him. Mm-hmm. And Batwing is a comic book superior but... Oh Batwing? Yeah, he used to looks like he used to be a Batwing character. Yeah, that's his character. And people are talking about him being Well, uh, he wouldn't be the original Batwing. Wait, 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 wait. That is first appearance. Two thousand eleven. I think that's New 52 era. Yeah, probably New 52. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of... 
I mean, I guess I could see it. There's just so many other... rumors, like, even, like, Bleeding Cool, could you be, uh, be, this be the new Batman, Luke Fox, and the death of Bruce Wayne? See, there's even rumors of that yeah, talking around. Yeah, they're not gonna kill Batman again with the new Joker movie coming out in Suicide Squad. They need their moneymaker. Yeah, we'll s- yeah. I even mean. if they do, they'll do what they did last time and send him to the goddamn past. <laughs> they can never kill Batman. They're just not allowed to. Same with Superman. Superman was dead for all like yeah, three weeks. For, or yeah, shit. it wasn't that long. And they brought him back up. It, it, you can't get rid of your money. Yeah, money. this is according to gossip by Brian Bendis or Bendis. Sorry. Oh, well, Bendis. favorite either Luke Fox or a brand new character such as he created to take the lead in Ultimate Spider-Man. Other possibilities offered were Mister Terrific or a depowered Black Lightning. Apparently, the DC Universe will believe that Bruce Wayne has died, but the readers will know he is alive, working beyond the scenes in the fashion predicted by Batman Beyond, mentoring the new Batman. So let's go with Fox for now. Luke Fox's first appearance is Batwing, number 19. He's already a hot comic because of the upcoming role in the Bat... Oh, yeah, that's right, in the Batwoman TV show. So yeah, he's going to be in there too now. So That's... Oh, man, that's actually not going to be good for him. It's already got so much bad press. With the uh, new bat, uh, Batwoman, Batwoman? Oh, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't really. I don't watch the CW stuff really too much. Oh, it's, it's... not even about that. It was all political. Oh, was that what they were saying? It, not the actual comic, but like the, the no, hate the sh- on it is. Oh, yeah, all political based, and that's not. And I don't agree with the hate, but I will say that when I watched the trailer, I was definitely not feeling it. I was just like, how was it? Eh. We'll see. I like. I like. Uh, what's her name? Uh... Ruby Rose. Is that her name? No. Yeah, Ruby Rose, but who's she playing? Uh, Kane? Not Kane. Oh, Kane. Uh, yeah, no. Or no, it's uh, Kate Kane. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I liked Kane. her when I seen her in... Um, I seen Kane her in the animated show. Sandra? I, 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 Sandra she's Kane? the... Yeah. One of the redhead... Uh, yeah, I can't remember. There's a bunch of... But they've really the, fucked me up. One of the Bat family. Up. They really fucked me up making her a redhead, and then you also had Barbara Gordon being Batgirl, which fucked me up. And then she was Oracle, obviously, at the time. But it just fucked me up with all the red-headed bat oh. women running around. And I was like, wait was, a minute. I guess was more of like a, I guess you could say... Uh, Not a big fan. Ra- uh, what? Roger Rabbit? Uh, oh, yeah. The she, Jessica Like Jones. that kind of red hair more of? Yeah, the or dark. Is, uh, yeah, the More of like an orangey red. kind of, Yeah. But I understand what you mean. You're like, oh, my gosh. This is, <laughs> this is bullshit. It's too many people running around in bat suits. And shit, I can't tell who's who anymore. <laughs> So, Especially when they're all dressing each other suits and shit, motherfuckers. The, those are some uh, some some of the rumors. No, that but I've there's been, been around. a lot of good stuff with that. Have you read the Batman Batman Superman comic coming out? Mm-mm, I haven't. They, they just came out with what's his name, the Shazam. Who that's laughs. that's where they came out with they've it. Been, they've been talking about that for a few months now, which is so funny to me that they would did, ruin that surprise. Like, yeah, it's, but it, it and it was, but it wasn't because like. You knew that it was coming, so like you went into the comic expecting it, and then they did a good throw off of it, but it was still just. Yeah, because now they're going to do a bunch of other ones now. Now they're doing this whole arc with now the Batman who laughs where he's going to Yeah, gonna it's a bunch not going to be a huge we'll thing, see what I don't they think. Do. I a think lot of it's people like him. Much. He's a great character. I don't feel like, be, especially because of the way. He's one of those trope ideas, right? Where it's like the Batman that always wins. Well, Batman always wins with writing, so like all it takes to beat him is writing. And so it becomes, like, this issue, like, especially, like, when you actually read the actual comic of Batman Who Laughs, which was a good comic, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't necessarily a great one, I feel like. Like, I felt like there was a lot of easy cop-outs. Yeah, I haven't finished that one. Stakes. It. it was cool. It's not, like, so, for example, I like, uh, what is it, Last Night, or... Oh, the white, uh, the white knight. You talking well, about? Well, I like the that last one too. White knight. No, no, the the curse the white, of the white knight. The curse of the white knight is good, but I'm talking about last night on Earth. Is that it? The other Batman one. Which one? Is Where that he's one? carrying around the head of the Joker. Oh, I yeah, I haven't I haven't even started that one. It's yet. pretty good. I like it better. Oh, than I did the start it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. the yep, I did start that one. I just haven't started the second issue. Yeah, because it's only got and it's it, releasing monthly or something. So yeah, so it's only on second issue. Third issue has come out. The the third issue of the Curse of the White Knight just came out tonight. Uh, this week, and then um, did you read that Har mm-hmm. Harleen? Uh, black. I, I just pick up nothing. I don't really read a lot of the DC stuff. The only thing I pick up, I pick up all the Black Label stuff because I love the Black Label books. I mean, I enjoy way. them. They're they're good. I and think... I don't have to know a lot of history of what's going on. That's why I love them because I can just jump right in and be like, I need to know a little bit of who the character is and I'm good to go. And I could read the story and be like, 
This is good. I like it. Okay, done. Let's read the next one. Yeah, but that, like that's I like just, the, I even you... like the Superman Year One stuff Frank Miller's doing. I, I mean, like now everybody one. likes the Superman Year One stuff, which is so funny because it's such a different Superman. Yeah, that's why I like that stuff. I'm like, I don't, I don't like to have to read all I, that for history me, like, and continuity. I, well, and... you don't have to for Superman. That's the great part. Like, Superman stories aren't about Superman. That's the greatest part about it. Like, when you read a really good Superman story... It's not about Superman, it's not about his superpowers, and it's not about Lois Lane being in trouble. It's, like, about the general basic good in human people, and, like, hope, and, like, doing the right thing when you're supposed to. Stuff like that. Like, it's really hard to explain, and I can't ever think of them off the top of my head, but, like, mm -hmm. the issues where Superman fights Zod, or fights... Like, those are cool, but the best Superman issues are the ones where he's, like, you know, we're all just people, and I'm... We'll super see. people but you, we're all see, people but you gotta weave through those issues to find just those ones right there and then i mean you're not wrong but that's my point fillers. but that's my point is you don't need any of the context for those issues you just need to that's know what, what just, superman yeah. stands well that's why i just pick up the the one shots or whatever like i picked up the what was it man of the year by uh villain of the year or man no, of it was year. man of the year superman man of the year oh okay and it came out a few weeks a few months actually ago sorry and it was really, made by mark wolfman even did yeah. it He's a good writer. I like his work. But the, even at the very beginning, he start, he's, he starts off by saying, I think, honestly, I want to be honest with you, this is the best Superman story I have ever wrote in my whole life. And it is really good. I like it. I, it's a good Superman story because it talks about, like, where he's just a farmer at first, you know, and then they finally send him off to go to uh, Metropolis. And uh, he just is finally like trying to take on his role of being a superhero, and uh, it's kind of like a year one kind of story. But uh, it's uh, he—he's very overwhelmed of everything, and that's why I liked it because it really made me feel like, oh, okay, Superman isn't like this all mighty dude. He does feel a little like well, and that's why like, I like some things. Like, like I said, there's a scene where he's sitting in the apartment, and he can hear like literally everything that's happening in the city you can hear a mugging he can hear somebody getting shot mm -hmm. you can hear somebody dying right now because they're gonna car crash you can hear this you can hear that and that's the point right there where he's just like oh, i can't do this i can't do this he's like like i can't no i can't and then he literally even sends his outfit back to his family and says writes a note saying i can't do this and it, I, I was good. I it really was, liked yeah. it. It's a good story. You should check it out. It's called Superman Man of the Year. It's just a, it's just a one, it. uh, 100 pager. That's, That's not too bad. So I would recommend uh, uh, reading it. I don't it. know if I've read it already because I've read a lot of the one. Like, I like reading the one shots. Have you read Batman uh, War on Crime? Mm -mm, I haven't read that one. It's really good. Some people say best Batman story ever written. Yeah. I don't know if I'd say that, but it's really good. I mean, some people say about Hush, but then... Uh, the Hush is... I didn't. I was so mad about that. I would. Animated. I don't know who said that. Who said Hush is the bat best set? Not the best, but like it's like it's on the list of the top. Did you do? Did you actually Batman. read it or did you watch the animated series? Uh, no, I have only read like maybe the first four issues. Like, I don't I read know where he's I fighting. Wouldn't, I wouldn't even put Hush in the top five or ten. It's when I go in the comic stores, it's always that they always even like now when uh when I was at the comic store, they literally just reprinted uh, like it's issue not, number Hush. It's not a bad comic. It's probably in the top 20 Batman stories. I don't I know. Think. Maybe at that time, people were just, like you said, it's one of those things, again, where if I wasn't there, maybe maybe I would have known why it was such a big thing. And people well, the other like, thing is you don't have a lot of the DC context, too. It's nope. like, so that's what always helps me now that I've been backtracking and doing my research and all the other stuff and watching those shows and is that now I do have, like, a better grasp of, like, what's going on in DC and oh, all the things Oh, yeah, that's good then. So you've been really, you know, like, kind of going more deep. Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, and just, like, and I'd, already, <laughs> and I'd already done, like, I'd already read all of Jeff John's Lantern Run. Like, yeah, I heard the that's entire, a good, the, Jeff John's the brightest Green day, Lantern Runs to read. The dark, everything. I'd read Darkest Night, Brightest Day, New Lanterns. I actually think I've read most of the Green Lantern Mythos at this point, post-1995. Not pre nineteen ninety five. That shit gets rough. See, I would read like, Green Lantern stuff. But... It's pretty good. Uh, I would definitely say check out. Maybe not the current runs. I was just going to check out decent. Jeff Johns' run because every time Jeff Johns is literally dead. everyone it's, tells me don't read anything that, else, but just read. And Jeff I'm not going to hype it up to stuff. like I'm not going to hype it up to crazy levels, but it is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best comic runs ever written. Yeah, see, that's good. Yeah. So, I, like I said, I will, every, now that you brought up Green Lantern, Jeff Johns, it's literally I when the comic stores are like. When they're trying to sell their books or whatever, they bring that one up because that's the one that's... It, it is. It is definitely one of the ones. There's others like... I mean, you have tons and tons of great stories, obviously, throughout but, the year. Yeah, again, to the Hush animated, 
I was disappointed, and yeah, I, I I heard that the Hush animated was not. Did you on par? To, I haven't seen I, it. Do you want, I don't know if you want me to tell you what they did at the end. Yeah, what did they, they do? They made realer him. <laughs> they, they made the Riddler hush, which is stupid. At the very that's not who it is, in the I, thing. and I already character. figured it out. I figured it out who it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be the damn doctor. Yes, I figured it out since the damn beginning. Because as soon as he went into the office, that whole interaction was sketchy. I'm like, hmm. Man, so hush about was, this. Uh, was originally a comment. He, he actually changes his face. To different people. See, that's, why he's I guess that sounds like a cool concept, but then like the original s- concept is he becomes Bruce Wayne by changing. They his- just they just fuck it up so bad. They even like do this thing I where think. Riddler's so fucked up that they like something happening. He has like this literally a scar on his forehead, and guess what the scar looks like? Riddler Riddle. looks like a question mark. Well, yeah, but it, it's a it's a fucking scar, and it's like why does the scar? Look like a question. Well, he put it, it, it on himself, obviously. Well, no, it's not. It wasn't his fault. They were working on him. That's the thing. That makes no fucking sense. Yeah. Why you were operated on, and the doctor saw fit that mm, let's make the scar look like a question mark because the guy matches his motif. He'll he'll thank us later. I it was uh, it was just a very disappointing watching. I, that I heard that, like, which what? is so funny because I do hear good things about it, but I've also heard that it's wildly inaccurate from the story oh no yeah this it's very different like i guess it's kind of the same because it is like we're they're trying he's trying to save the little boy right it, right i mean all that the plot then, is the same but the details oh yeah the details are all different yeah so. which is so crazy to me because it's like how are you gonna do that boy? so i watched it it wasn't great but i check out all the animated stuff because i do like their i enjoy my i haven't checked it all i gotta catch up on the avengers animated series because they really it is a child Disney, series. The Disney yeah. one that they're doing. It, yeah. it is for kids, for sure. But when you get past, if you can get past the kid writing, right? The writing for kids. The stories, like, you can tell the people who write the stories and craft the plots no, care about Marvel. Yeah. yeah, they care about Marvel history. Cool. I do, yeah. They do. care about car- combining yeah. a lot of good characters they do and concepts. Spider Man story, or the oh, new yeah. one where they come out, they'll do, like, little, um, like now they're doing right now they're in the superior spider-man yes. one where now doc dr uh, doc Octavius Octavius is, is in spider-man yeah yes, so like so they're they're taking little things they do them. and they do a really good job of like ramping it into a w- of consumable form like one that was really kiddish but that i actually really enjoyed even more than the others was like the incredible hulk one which was like incredible hulk that's only had the adam smash. right or blue adam and he was like the uh no you had blue or not blue you had uh a bomb yeah, there we go. Sorry, a bomb. Yep, yep, yep. I remember Which that technically one. he's abomination, and it's uh, Rick Jones. Yeah, Rick Jones. Yeah, but uh, it was good. It was good. You had Scar, and you know, I was oh, and yeah, Red Scar Hulk. Was in there, yeah. They had oh, great yeah. stuff. They did it all. They did crossover stuff with Galactus and Ego, and a bunch of other characters. Got like two seasons. It got canceled. Uh, but it, I honestly thought that one was the best one. Well, so just, now we're on TV shows in Marvel. Now that we've been gone for so long, we have not talked about. The new stuff that they're working on. Oh, they got all so much stuff. So, what they, is your idea? Of, uh, or what is? How do you feel about the things they have coming out? Because I know they have the She-Hulk. They have Vision. They have, uh, Loki. Vision. Well, the newer stuff that they announced was oh. She-Hulk, Moon Knight. And we've known about new Moon. Knight yeah, we know that, but like I. I really honestly didn't think it was ever. I knew it was coming. <laughs> but that's cool. I, I'm cl- happy they're going to do a TV the show. The thing is, Moon Knight will be good if they structure it somewhat similarly to Legion, that it's got to be a mind game. Um, because it, that's what Moon Knight's about, yeah. is about that triple. Like, uh, granted, old Moon Knight stuff kind of sucks and isn't very good about that, but new Mi- Moon Knight stuff is all about yeah, that. Yeah, it's so, so pretty interesting. Personality. Like, some of the new stuff. The new stuff is actually pretty cool. Yeah. And just the, the way the story's written and, like... I think they do the whole play on is he crazy, is he not crazy? Yeah, because well, when they explained it a little bit in, uh, yeah, oh, what issue was it? There was an issue not too long ago where they kind of explained, yeah, he has like these. I don't know where I see him, but it was not. He wasn't. He was normal at first, and then what ended up happening is that he created these split personalities. Yeah, because and he, then they became... because he was becoming yeah because he was a detective, so he would like become a different person to be, be a persona for that. Yes, and then those and then it eventually yeah. got so he didn't know who he was at the point. Then it just I don't know who I am. I'm just all these guys now. <laughs> he basically caused his own split personality. So I, that's interesting to me. I like it, that. It's stuff. pretty cool. Did Did you kind of get the stuff? They kind of kind of uh, mention that stuff in the. Uh, annuals for that infinity wars stuff 
where they had the crossover characters. The I think that's of, what I read it. Yeah, I think that's because he's talking that. about how he'd already had three people in his head, so having a couple more wasn't like an issue. Yeah, but they've been doing real good on that. I feel like that. Granted, that stuff was kind of out of left field. I was not expecting the annuals for those. Infinity yeah, Wars. I think they. Yeah, I think that he wasn't done. Uh, who, who's right? Gary Doug Dugan. Dugan, I can't say that. Dugan, but yeah, he. Uh, I don't think he was done. And like again, I again, I don't think he's still done with that because it's still kind of like left off with this. Oh yeah, there's still this the, thing, and yeah, he he made a whole other universe now with the soul and the soul stone now, which was a cool concept in itself. It's like, but would it break your little mind <laughs> if there was a multiverse inside of this stone? If your whole universe was contained, <laughs> it's like, I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> So those are cool. I really like that. And then uh, I'm just I'm curious to see where he's gonna still do and bring back because they still haven't explained where all the other stones went. They've only explained one stone, the time stone, right. and the soul stone. And that's right. I told it. you they kind of just left it off. So they're either planning something bigger, they forgot, and that's to either one's totally possible. Yeah, they they just they d or sometimes Marvel just doesn't let them finish their story because well, that's like, what it kind of means. Sell. And they're like, eh, yeah, they're like, well, sorry guys, suck. we you can't guys. do this anymore. We got to work on the next big yeah, thing. And, we, we like you but we don't like you like you. <laughs> so i mean there's... no no there's definitely that uh what other th what other runs have been really good i've been checking out something that's bugging me i mean i've been reading a lot of manga again the korean stuff is just my so friend good. reads all that stuff he's he likes that uh tower of god I'm my, you, my, my, of my god other friend amazing. my other friend though he he is very 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 picky about his anime and my he's hardcore about it because he's the type of person he cannot watch even dubbed anime because he's like i think they do a terrible job and i don't think they do a very as good a job as a japanese i mean anime. he's right but that doesn't make it any less weak i know no he, no he's very particular about it and then even even with this manga he's like if you don't like it or something's like if he, I don't know, he really goes into it. And he's just like, mm, no, I can't get into it. My friend told him to read Tower of God, and he's only, I think, on three. And my friend keeps asking, like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you got to be caught up? Have you caught up yet? And he's like, I'm on stone three, bro. And he's like, you're not liking it? And he's like, tell you the truth? No. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh! Unfortunately, <laughs> that, that guy just has shitty taste because that, that manga is amazing. Everybody I've ever talked to says that manga is amazing. So, but I he keeps telling him that he needs to, he needs to read because that's the thing. People who are too picky going, uh, can't read. get into long reads. So they yeah. never get to the great stories. So like Hickman's run, right? Your friend probably wouldn't like it because it takes more than three fucking issues to start yeah. getting into the real, because it takes my, more than three issues to yeah, set up a Yeah, my friend was telling me, I guess, because he has to get up to like eight because they're like stuck in this room for like the first four or five, five issues, yeah. and which is then that's what my friend tells me. He's like, after they get out of the room, he's it's like, awesome. that's what that's when it starts. The thing is, better. the room sets up too, like, and that's why I say the long burn, right? I've read that up to like chapter three hundred eight. I think I'm like ten or twenty chapters behind at this point, maybe a little more because it does release weekly and it's been a minute. Because it, it, it just got like, to us. He likes it. So it's he... the thing is for it, like I said, is a slow burn. That first five rooms chapter stuff, right? 200 chapters later they're referencing shit from that that, that you one. weren't either aware of or like they're mm -hmm. they're going back in time much in the way that hickman did or <coughs> in the way that kate's did with Null. that they went back and they said no this part was really important we just didn't give you all the context and you weren't paying attention yeah because if you were paying attention you would you know what i mean really see some of it for how it goes down because um. obviously some people were aware because they had called out the Null foreshadowing from thor and gotten that issue because mm -hmm. some people do good really good on those and i think uh, it's he, he tells me too he's like i think it's just it's, it's the asian in me <laughs> he's like maybe it that's is, a, I, he's like that's why I, I, I can't get he's like i don't know so but yeah he, yeah that that guy he does like, he does like a lot of stuff days. like he like he's been he loves fire force he's been reading he reads all the manga really he doesn't even really uh, watch the anime too much. right he's which is fine and the thing about it though is and especially as a reader myself like i've read Probably as much or more manga than most people. And then what do they call Korean? Because he he told Mama. me the other, yeah he told me the other day he's like it's not manga he's like it's ma because he knows too he's like I could say he knows all his stuff but right and it, that, that, but that's such picky. weeaboo shit that sounds so, like so weeaboo being like that like yes it's manga and every everyone who actually reads Korean manga knows it's manga but no one gives a shit no. <laughs> because guess what it's still fucking manga. So, but no, uh, there's and they're great ones. They're really my other good friends picky ones. like that too, though. He's picky with his movies. 
and like we'll go see a movie and then he, he he's the type of guy too that he's like if there's a um a loophole anywhere in the movie he's like okay i'm out i'm done <laughs> and he can't watch any movie because every fucking movie has a loophole. yeah i know he that's pick, that's he my thing picks a lot of things that's for sure like right. and i got a friend like that too but even my friends he's, are nitpickers like there's picky and then there's like just doesn't have taste man and that sounds like some doesn't have taste shit because you gotta get if you don't watch something you can't say it's bad. Well, no, he, he watches out. it the whole way through. All but right. then at the as very long end, as they watch it. He's just as long like, as they I... watch it all the way through, it's all good. Because then you watched it, and you, you know what I mean? If you didn't like it, you didn't fucking like it. Yeah. Like, what did he watch the other But, day? yeah, it's like, if you don't get into it, if you don't give it, oh, like yeah. I said, when people watch oh, no, no, one no. episode of a TV show or the first 20 minutes of a movie or read one chapter of a 300-page book, it's like... That's how you lose a lot of people, though, I know. I mean, it is, but that's the point, is like, that's hey. How, that's what gets me every time, if the anime shows me that one good episode, like Dr. Stone, when I first seen that word, I was like, I'm hooked. But, like, there are definitely hooking points, but a lot of the best ones are slow burns. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes it, you just have to... It takes to time to make... It, it takes time to make what, beauty and greatness. Because, yeah. like, you have fa- fast ones, right? So, like, a good example of one that's a fast hook, Naruto, right? You come in immediate action immediate ties into like dramatic storytelling so and then about and, jump and then about 400 chapters later you're like none of this makes sense all of the setup was retarded i don't understand what's going on <laughs> and i heard i heard he's actually going to be finishing up finally yeah that's finally what i heard he's finally done he's not doing boruto anymore no, not not sorry, not not tour, uh, One Piece. That's what I meant to say. Oh, is he gonna? Yeah, be? that's I don't what think I, he's gonna I heard be rumors too. He's gonna be finishing. I don't think he's gonna, dude. The the story is not even close. No, what, are I'm you reading, reading the yeah. book too? Oh yeah. He's the, the, uh, the main. The anime is caught up to the book. But I, my thing is, are that I watched a really good video about like how manga and anime kind of transist into you know, or oh, how yeah. manga transitions into anime, where they have like this little chart and says it can go the same exact way or it could go the same exact way but then this track goes over here now because now they incorporated this and that's totally different than what they did in here or or they're i mean they definitely do that it was a cool i'll have to find the video but it's like it was like that's exactly how it is (laughs) is. because like they did that with a comic or kill they made it like 90 percent accurate and then right at the end because the manga wasn't finished being written yeah and that's that's another thing they talked about was that sometimes too the anime is a little bit too farther than the manga, so then they have to stop and do filler episodes, yep. and then that and that's what One Piece and, then, and Naruto and Bleach all suffer from was the fact that they were all still being published while the animes were being produced. And I don't know, like, what do you say about that? Do you do you think a manga should get? I mean, how many volumes do you think a manga should really be before it should get an anime? Before it, I don't think the issue is before getting an anime. It's the or have. The issue being is if it's still running, it doesn't matter. The anime will most likely catch up. And that's just production, especially if it's good, right? If it's, yeah, a, no, if it's no. a popular, then the anime will catch up. It doesn't matter how many episodes are loose because the manga authors have to take weeks off. Oh, yeah. No, of course. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's one whereas dude. Whereas the production offices at the animation studios, they have subs, so they're just going to keep subbing in new animators and keep pumping shit out because that's their job. I was just saying, like, would you think, like, you should have it, at it least 100 volumes, at least? No, it's just like... got to be finished. It doesn't matter. Or, it's yeah, you're just saying, you're just saying, be Comic done. Kill is only, like, 50 chapters long. Okay. Well, you're saying it should just be done then. Yeah, then it just needs to be finished. And yeah. come out with it. Yes. But then, you think in that way, you're like, damn, that would take forever for these enemies right. to come out. Right, and so that's, <laughs> that's the problem, is, like, you either do that, or you do filler episodes, or you just take breaks, with peach, which people aren't comfortable doing either. I don't understand the whole thing. Take breaks. I mean, we take right. breaks, seasons right? Don't take we breaks. take breaks? Comics do. You get breaks between different characters yeah, and different they, seasons. They're like, like, no, bro, we trail through. <laughs> they really do. Like, it's every week for them. It's it's weekly cartoons, bro. That's It's straight up like that. And that's why One Piece is caught up. Uh, One Piece is currently around chapter eight or nine hundred. I was maybe it's only seven, but I thought it was eight or nine hundred. They're currently on uh, uh, Wano, the, the island of Wano, in the samurai area. Uh, I've been waiting a couple weeks for it to catch, so I'm probably like four or five chapters behind. But the last time they were just now getting, they've got a minimum hundred chapters, I'd say. Okay. If, if they were going to start the ending process currently. That's how long I would estimate well, for them to wrap it that's all up. That's probably what but it's, but it's just because and you gotta because you gotta know the the side stuff. The context of the whole thing is it's not this like one plot line like the One Piece. It very much in the same way of Harry Potter is this thing that starts as a very kidsy anime with like no undertones, 
and then develops those undertones throughout the whole story until it becomes an adult story where mm -hmm. you know i mean people are dying it's about government collusion and mass you know what I mean? Contortion of truth, etc. And so, like, you're tied up in the world government. You're tied up in like the re resistance factions, the separate Wano factions. I wonder how much of that stuff came organically? Uh, I mean, or I, how much of that stuff was even planned? Since the I, you know, some of it seems to have been planned, and, so, and like, it's really rough for me to say because it feels natural, right? Which is how that should feel. It shouldn't feel like, oh, this was some great grand plan. But at the same time, when you look at it, like. All right, so you look at, uh, for example, I don't know how much you know about One Piece or if you ever plan on reading or watching One Piece. <laughs> so I'll ruin some of One Piece for you. you got uh, In the beginning, you have Luffy, right, and his grandfather, and you have these characters, right, that are introduced. And I'd say two or three hundred chapters later, you get Luffy's brother, right? Well, Luffy and his brother really look like nothing alike. And then you have Garth, and you have all this side stuff, and you have the connection for movies. And basically, within 500 chapters, all these connections are pulled, where it seems so natural. But like like you said, they, they've been giving hints at some of the stuff before, where it's like, all right, you had Ace, right? He's supposed to be the son of Pirate King Rogers, who's like the big boomba mm -hmm. dead guy. And it, it's just such a really weirdly intertwined story, where like they talk about all these monoliths and stuff from hundreds of pages ago and and like it seems like it didn't start the planning phase until right around chapter 100 or 200 i can't remember which one it is when they're in skypea but right around there where they're doing that arc is where i felt like it kind of switched over from like this light-hearted children's thing to having these undertones that drew throughout the next i wonder five, if that chapters. was because too that he was maybe getting an audience and at that point maybe his audience i think he was because i think he has other books being, well, maybe he doesn't there's maybe another to one. being a kiddish and he's like okay mate, i'm getting more adultish kind of people wanting Might my stuff let me go ahead and start writing a little bit more <laughs> he, very well, he very well could have especially being that it's shonen so i mean you know there's going to be some young adult yeah, readers yeah uh i don't know i couldn't tell you no, on that yeah, one because i, I they, especially because yeah, one piece is old you know what no, I mean? yeah since the 90s 90s something yeah it's 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 not as old as dragon ball z or dragon well, ball, but i would say though it's it's topped it way more than because Dra dragon ball only has oh i mean for, for numbers and sales it's the highest selling manga of all time well even that but down. like i think it beats it even volumes oh right? easily but that does not to say it's the highest even volume. by episodes and anime because now oh, even for... even including super well if you in if you say japanese then yes in america because no. there's there was about 300 and something episodes for z i think i guess that depends on if you include dragon ball and then dragon well. ball is probably like, like 150. another 150 and then if you include super that's 130 so we're getting to like 700 yeah something. i mean if you just go on pure episode count then yeah i know one Piece is probably one of the highest episode <laughs> right. counted anime is it like of all time. On what, episode nine, nine eighty something, probably yeah, nine sixty so something. That's and obviously, and then also too there. that they they've been consistently going on, unlike Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and True. even Super. Where it, they took if the you go by that, that it's probably the most long lasting published anime of all time. Uh, I can't think of another besides. One. Uh, my other friend told me this other one. He said, but it's a kid show. So Oh, I, I know the one. And that one isn't in America. No, you it's can't not. Watch it's, it in only, America. Yeah, it's only Japanese. He said that's the longest running uh, anime yes, show. Yes, technically. And just it's in the same, same way. I think that it's the... even this character with, with the little eyeball. And he has like a... Yeah, he's a little kid with a baseball. Or a baseball. Mm -hmm. um, and even in manga terms, there's tons. There's a, quite a few manga actually that are longer lasting than One Piece. And currently still running numbers. Hmm. So, like, Case Closed is a good example. Oh, wow, that's still going. Huh? Oh, it's a 1,100 chapters oh, and strong, wow. baby. He says he doesn't plan to stop writing until he dies. Um, that sucks, though. Because then at that point, you're like... This is never going to end. I hate him. Yeah, and then at the point, then when he dies, and you're like... I'm 600 chapters in, and I have no motivation to keep going. And now it's on the left. It's on this cliffhanger, and it's never going to end. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not even that. It's just like it's it's just He's this perpetual dead. cliffhanger that nothing ever. Yeah, it was He's yeah. dead, and he won't finish it. It's on this ending, right? Yeah, or unless somebody. Comes That's what we keep thinking is going to happen to Berserk, even though it's. Supposed I've heard to... that one also. Same thing. Yeah, that he's getting uh, pretty old, isn't he? It's not even that. He's been sick for. That's a long what time. it was. He's him sick. and the that's author of Hunter X Hunter both have like, ah, serious that's health a, problems. Yep, that's both him and him. I and who else? Things. The High School of the Dead author had he that just too. Died. Yeah, oh, he, he died. didn't just die. He died years ago. Was it years oh, ago? Oh yeah. Was a long um, ago, really? Yeah. Look it up. He died probably two or three years yeah, ago. Yeah, because that was another one that didn't. Uh, yeah, he got sick and couldn't finish because he broke. Uh, like they never did the episodes, but he wrote past chapter one that they show. Uh, as far as comics go, not too much farther. I think he made it another five or six chapters and had to stop publishing again. And then he died, unfortunately, a couple years after that. Um, which is so s- sad when, like, I always feel like, man, just pass pass it on. You know what the story is going to be. Tell somebody else to finish it. Especially if this is your work, right? Like, I understand your health, but, like, that's your work. That's I, a lot to just do and then just be like, oh, I died. And then like, well, finish fuck it. it, it's not finished, <laughs> it's undone. And so, like, Berserk even, like, he's, they, they talk about it, he's going to start releasing again, but they don't know how long he'll last because he's also got... At that point, then, you just you just got to say, I, I better finish this story. And then, Either uh, that or just fucking, like I said, hand it off. the torch, yeah. Right, it's just, like, who is it, the one that I always think of as, like, all right, you got a story to tell me about the artist? Well, then do what the One Punch people did. The artist who made One Punch, or not the artist, the author... Didn't even give a shit about the story, but the... the oh, he didn't. He no. didn't care for it, huh? Uh-uh. He actually made the story to test out a drawing software that he had purchased. So it was a shit... Like, if you have you ever seen the original art for One Punch? Mm-hmm. It's... I can't get into that show. It's, it's, it, even beyond that, the, too, the original art is... I don't know if the word is satire or... Yeah, it's, it's satire. It's just too much for me. It's like, parody. It's too much parody, too much satire for me, and I can't yeah, it's it all. Serious. It's just making fun of superheroes. Yeah, I know it is, but, like, I feel like... It, the thing is, it tries to take it. It does try to take itself serious, it but then at the know. end of the day, it's like, no, nah, we like. That's the fuck. thing. It, 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 it does it though. It's, it's used as as a satirical contrast to show all these amazing yeah, 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 explosive yeah, yeah. things, and then to have one guy come in and just boom. yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially the, well, that's the point of the comic as well, and and is emphasized by the shitty art in the comic. I mean, it's got oh yeah, no, it looks really bad when I the yeah. original stuff is bad. The the new stuff that was made by the Eye Shield artist. And Much that's better. who did it. Oh yeah, it looks amazing. That's who does. They based the anime off of that style, in that it's very like uh, sharp, stylish. I don't know if you ever read I Show Twenty One, but uh, that one's a really good manga. It's about football, but it's very oh, much done this in one a shonen I want to style. Check out. It's about basketball. Uh, what's it called? Kurokono basket? That might be. It's where, it's where they're like doing these like moves that, that could never be possible in basketball. And it's Maybe like, not. Are it's they, really dramatic. Like, it's really dramatic. It, it might be that then. Kurokono basket is also the one that has an anime. So yeah, it's, it's probably yeah. that one. Is it like some regular kid who gets like onto the team with a bunch I of crazy good yeah, athletes? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Tall guys and yeah. spiky it's fun, hair. It's funny too. They look like. It's funny, dramatic, and yeah, that and tries like, to be like a like really like a showing jump kind of show yeah. a little bit, but it's basketball, right? Right, it's like in his super three point shot. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Kurt, that's Kurt Kono basket. <laughs> that and I Shield Twenty One is the exact same way. Same thing. Yeah, so it's like in his super deep long pass, and there's like streams of jets shooting off the football, <laughs> like, or like the there's like, like the aura of a panther behind him while he's doing. You See, know what I mean? I could get into stuff. So like you that. should check I Shield Twenty One is. Excellent manga. That's one of my all-time favorite manga. And granted, I do like football, and it's part of the reason I like it. But that's not why. They have really good characters, good development. It has a very good arc, except for maybe the last fifty or sixty issues where I feel like he kind of rushed the ending. But overall, it's like a very and like I said, they dramat they dramatize the football so that it's interesting. It's like the Cupid pass or the secret long shot play <laughs> and then they have the classic like shonen thing so they got like the greedy character who's all about money that's kind of why i like uh, who's all about Carney, the slime because it's yes, the same thing too it's very typical where you would just eat something and be like oh i'm powerful now and i can beat this guy or it's, all I gotta do it's is very much dragon. i would i would definitely suggest it uh i shield 21 i don't know if they made an anime they probably did but the manga is excellent it's on my top list of manga Probably in my top ten, which is saying something mm-hmm. considering how many different... Yeah. Like I said, the number one for me is probably from now until the end of time going to be One Piece. Just because I feel like it's the most sophisticated manga I've ever read as far as long-term payouts. Mm-hmm. And like, yes, it's childish, but I think that also gives it points for me because it's all accessible on both sides. Like Kids can read One Piece and enjoy it a lot mm-hmm. because it's very kidsy and there's fun shapes. 
and then adults can enjoy one piece because there is a lot of drama and like death and different things in there that might not always be apparent but are very much on the surface of like they explain it they talk about government corruption they talk about you know just all these different concepts and stuff while maintaining the true nature of a shonen anime in being that it's you know friendship uh oh. willpower because that's the, that's one piece's whole thing is friendship nakama or family fairy tale same thing Dragon it, Ball, yeah they all do the same which thing. is funny because i feel like fairy tale is in many ways not like con- conceptually but in s- stylistically not even art style but stylistically and storytelling style a rip of one piece oh do you very mm-hmm. much so i like fairy the tale. the difference being storytelling is a quicker payout because it's got like what three hundred total. Yeah, episodes. they're only fine. It is. It's excellent. I actually I laughed because I had told my I had told my friend I started reading it probably back on chapter thirty when it was on chapter thirty of the manga, or f- maybe fifty right around when the wind dude showed up uh, in the original. Remember the wind, and then he was gonna make the bell that kills everyone, or the note of the flute that kills everyone. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. It, it's very early on in the series. Did you and, finish it? Oh, absolutely. My friend didn't like the ending. He said it's not very good. He said, but they did like some post fairy tale stuff now in manga. That's what I heard. Yeah, which now, is also that's really what they do now. The Baruto, same thing. Now they're older and they have kids. <laughs> I don't really like that guy's stuff. Like uh, they did it the way I like it done is the way they did it in uh, Zebrai. Uh, no, what is it? Shaman King. Sorry, not Shaman. Shaman King. Hmm. I don't know if you ever read or saw the end of Shaman hmm. King, but basically they do flash forward to like ten years in the future. But it's for like twenty seconds at the end of the episode, <laughs> much in the same way that they do for like a ton of so like Harry Potter. That's the same that. thing they did in Walking Dead when they ended it. It was more right. Like, it's like ten years later, and it's him. Yes, they, and they talk about where they're at in life, and, be, and, and that way and you don't have to write a whole another story. This is how the story ends. Then, this then, is then, how it affected everything twenty years later. There's no exposition. To there's twenty else more to chapters. Be explained. Just, right. This is ends. what happened. <laughs> Which I feel so. like those are honestly not the worst endings if they're done right. Like that one. I felt like it was a little too quick because they, they, it all took place in like three comics between the death and the ten years later. That one should have gotten like maybe two comics for the exposition and like a little mm. more. But I like the, the style of being like, no, this is over. And like, it's really over because we're going to show you what it's like after it's over. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm happy to finally finish Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is... I like fairy tale. I've always liked it. I like... You know what really got me into it? I think it was the music. That music. The music that... is really... Have you ever watched Tariko? Mm, not that one. Uh. I'm not sure if you like the English one. I know I don't, or the Japanese, but and it's one one of those ones that takes a second to go to maybe two or three episodes to catch up. But or not catch up, but catch in, catch on, whatever. But uh, Tariko is one of also my favorite uh, manga slash anime because they do a really good job. Unfortunately, they they did what they I don't know if the, why they did it, but they did the diversion path for the anime. So the ending of the anime is different than the ending uh-huh. of the comic. How you said that, it's still actually a pretty interesting ending. They did a decent, like, different ending. And it's, uh, everything before that is super accurate, uh, towards the comic, which, with the exception of some, like, interesting side shorts and shit that are oh, yeah. at the end and beginning of the YouTube. Episode. I still need to, I just started Demon Slayer. Oh, yeah, Demon Slayer is real good. I can't believe I didn't start this earlier. Nah, it's not, not that far. Really. No, well, I know it's not that far, but I'm just like, that's why when is, people are like, I didn't start this earlier, it's like, it's not far enough is, for me to even start. Right, but my problem is, and I knew about that one. I knew about slime before it came in anime. I knew about Doctor Stone. I, I like Doctor Stone one, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you gotta get into top. the manga that because one... the manga. Granted, you gotta get used to re- reading in the reverse, but the manga are s- usually better. They come out faster. You get access to them earlier, and they don't diverge, so you don't end up with shitty. Although sometimes people don't like. It even when they do stay accurate, because like people didn't like third episode or third season of Tokyo Ghoul. It was a hundred percent. I didn't accurate. like the first season of Tokyo Ghoul. I, I loved thought, Tokyo Ghoul. I didn't understand the ending because it's like, so you're telling me after they tortured the shit out of you this whole damn time, and after the through the beginning of the whole episode, that these guys over here on the left side were the ones that were helping you the whole way through, and at the very end of the episode, you're like. You know what? Nah, fuck you guys. I'm with them now. And I was like, what? what? <laughs> that That's what really threw me off on that first season. And I was like, mm, yeah, okay. See, and they, like and I said, two, they diverged. I forgot I they did diverge. I think that's probably what happened. Yeah, they diverged the prime. Because in, begi- in the ending of the first... And then he was just too... Sorry, but he was too much of a bitch through the whole torture scene where he, he was... He, I don't know. He, you mean where he was getting his fingers cut off again? But he, again? I don't know. The way they made it, they just made him too, like... 
And, and then at the very end, now he's like, yeah. I'm like, what? You were just crying like a little bitch dude two pages ago. And then- <laughs> yeah, then his mind snapped. I just find it funny because there's so many other characters I can think of who have like similar like Same situations. Things, yeah. Vegeta's the best example I can think of off the top of my yeah, head. Where he just bitches thing. out and then becomes a Super Saiyan yeah. on that planet. Yeah. He's literally crying like, well, I want to be a Super Saiyan. Yeah, no, when he was, uh, yeah. The that's very, where he goes yeah. first time yeah, to go Super the, Saiyan. Uh, yeah, the first they time. make fun of it in the Dragon Ball I Z version. I remember that one, yeah. I thought you had a pure heart to be to become a Super Saiyan. <laughs> I do have a pure but heart. I guess, yeah, my other friends agree sometimes, too. They're like, yeah, I don't get why they did. But like you're saying, it probably wasn't like that. And that manga's probably good. No, in the, the manga, he's, that part's very similar. Uh, the ending isn't. In the ending, because he he ends up joining that other group of people that were like I, for, I forget who were they were like the. See, it's been a really long time since I watched that season because I heard good things Wait, about it. Season one or two? Season one, and season two is when they start off when he's on that side now, and then he's. I kind of barely got into it. I watched maybe like one episode or two, and then I stopped. I didn't get to finish it after that. Well, I'm trying to remember exactly what happened, but it ended piece. where yeah he gets tortured, then he ends up being like. All big bad, and then he ends up being on their side. I don't think. I think you need to get more context. And then that was it. Because I don't. I think you missed some pieces here and there on that. Because in the second season, no, he, I didn't get to even watch the second yeah. season. I just the first second, first. Because at second. the end of the season, first season, uh, the oh, other gosh. group is banded on another thing. He's. I don't believe he's working with them. He might be. Yeah, you'll have to. You'll have I'll, to I'll them, check but, it again, uh, but I've. I've watched and read it several times. I'll, have, I'll ask Vinny because he watches it yeah, like that, that's every the, week. Like I said, that's the one thing that really threw me off on season one. Because the season, that. I think it's the end of season two is where they really diverge and it's the end of the fight with the owl. Yeah, there's also some When he's stuff. in the sewer. But it was literally like at the very end of the season was, yeah, he was literally getting tortured. And yes. then after the torture was done, there was this big climatic something happened. Yeah, he remember. fights with the, her then, brother. And at that point, I don't know where he co- makes the decision to be like, okay, guys, I know you helped me at the beginning, but there was, there was something that made him diverge into going on their side. And I was he, like, I don't think you were watching it right because he doesn't go to their side at all. Yeah. He doesn't, dude. You have to watch it. No, again. you. I've watched it several times. I'm telling you, you were, you were watching it right. He goes off and kills like all of them after that in the second season. I'll have to see again. You, you're going to have to go watch it again, dude. Because I think you missed watching it. I've talked to other dude. people and my other friends are like, yeah, I don't like that part too. I was like, that's why I didn't, fin- I didn't even yeah, start season two. Because he, uh, he doesn't really join their side. As far as I remember, he starts hunting ghouls. And eating ghouls. I'll have to see again. But yeah, I'll have to look at the last episode. I'll just have to look at it, watch the very end. And be like, I'll check it again and see. I'm going to go ask Vinny because Vinny watches it more, more than I do. I- well, it's not even that he's been he's, he's watched more it more it. recently. Than oh, oh, okay, okay. Because I saw it last time I saw it was probably six months ago when I made him watch it with me again. Because <laughs> at the end of that scene, he Yamori finishes torturing him. He goes and fights what's her face's brother and rips his wings off. And following that, he dons a new mask. I believe or no, he continues to keep his don his mask on. He ditches his friends in school. He ditches the group. Yeah, see, he ditches, he ditches the, the group, but he doesn't go to the other group. Yeah, there's something he does that's just like he just leaves them. Is all he does, and then he starts killing a bunch of the other ghouls and eating them. I'll we'll have to see because who I'll was the main? Check. There was the main guy. The, see, I haven't seen it in a long. Time. That's what I was uh, like because you've got while, but you've got the you've got the. The manager, right, who's the main guy on the good guy side, right, with mm-hmm. the waiter in the coffee shop. And then you've got several guys on the evil side, but I don't even think they show you the main big bad in, in season one. No, I don't think they do, one. but they, they were just kind of like the lackeys, but... Because you get... Do those guys... Because he does go off on his own, for sure. He leaves the coffee shop. But I'll have to... I don't think he joins the group. Not, he does join the group at one point. But that's season three or Maybe. four. Okay. Maybe it's season two. I'll have to double check. There's no way I can remember yeah. it. The so other, the other, three, huh? the other problem is, is I've, I'm gonna be mixing up what happened in the anime and what happened in the oh, manga. Okay. Because so in the manga, it, it, they do different things at the end of both seasons, Maybe. season one and season two. I just might be mixing them up. Maybe. But I'll have to go watch the anime again and see for sure. 
Because I swear People he doesn't it. join. I mean, it's a, it's good. Like I said, People it is a quick really concept. pissed. No, I like the concept. People were really idea. pissed about season three, which is another big switch. But that one is more. Like I said, it's totally canon. People just didn't like it. Mm. So, like, people really didn't like it. Yeah, like you said, they, they can either go completely on the same track, and then people just don't like Yeah, sometimes <laughs> they just don't. And sometimes it works. Like, it's so funny to me that e- they can both work. Because, for example, Full Metal Alchemist did both ways. And both ways worked for Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. Staying true to the story and doing their own story. They ended up having great numbers and sales for both. I mean, they got a movie for the original series. Yeah. Um... But what's our uh, current runtime at? Nine thirty. Oh yeah, we've been on for about an hour. Actually, thirty or minutes. <laughs> no, actually, no. We started at like what eight thirty. Yeah, right. yeah. eight fifteen. We're about uh one twelve. One so, twelve. So yeah, it's about we that time good. finish. Do we have hour. uh? Do we have anything else we no, want to cover? Just like I said, the stuff I'm excited for Disney Plus. Uh, the Disney Plus stuff. Like Moon Knight's for all the looking good. But cartoon shows are bringing back gargoyles. Yes, Chippendale. That stuff. Gummy really bears. Cool. Um, Where are my Care Bears? Damn it. Darkwing Duck's gonna be the uh, shit. I love. There's this. The weird thing was Darkwing Duck was not like a kid show somehow. No, it was no. To be honest, I think there's a lot of shows that mm, were shit that been for us. No, Gargoyles. Gargoyles was on the edge though because it very much was like that young adult show. Yeah, like, yeah. That, there that, wasn't any like, that, and that's why I think I didn't or, get into it too much when I was I younger. I really like my friend Gargoyles. loved it too. My other cousin, he loved Gargoyles, I and really I, like I Gargoyles. really. I wasn't into it when I was little, but now that I've kind of like I said, I don't know why it, though. I, I kind of, I, you know what it was? It was the whole scene when they find, and then too, the other thing was that back then you couldn't like watch your episode one, two, three, and four. Yes, I would just be randomly. I would be see randomly it. in the episode. Like, I think that's what got me. Is I probably, on? I think I probably actually ended up seeing like the first episode somehow, whatever, and like, and I never and I saw. Think it I even seen the last episode. The last one was when they finally come back from the boat, and it's like in the future. Yeah, the Ansel and yeah. all that, and I was like, oh. That's that's it. That's the ending. Okay. <laughs> it was like, wait, what? I just watched the end of the fucking show. So, no, but like those were good. And I think it's is it. I actually have so, the whole thing on my computer now. Kids, I should have it so that. easily. Now they do. They, they don't understand. And... They don't. They'll never understand that stress of like I missed the show. I'm fucked. I, I I can't watch it. I have to ask someone this week what happened if they saw it. Maybe someone taped it if I'm so, really lucky. I think that was the number one reason why I probably wasn't much into it. There were a lot of shows like that back then where I just oh, couldn't yeah. get in because oh, yeah. there was no way Digimon, to watch it. Digimon I wanted to get more into as a kid, but I watched maybe like 20 episodes of it and then I kind of got lost again because then it was like too far into it and I didn't know what was going on. Anymore. Yeah, they were referencing old shit. Yeah. Digimon was famous for that too. They would love to reference like so. earlier episodes. There was a lot, uh, but yeah. I think that's pretty good. That's it. It was a good it. cast. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully next week, yeah. same day, uh, maybe same ish time. We, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out next week. But uh, thanks to anyone who came through. I see some people on the chat list, and thank you again. All right, have a good one, guys.